There, President Obama has repeatedly said al-Qaeda is on the run, on the path to defeat, and decimated. Yet fighters aligned with what was once the gold standard in terrorism are once again making gains in Iraq. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has the latest on what appears to be an al-Qaeda resurgence in a place where Americans fought, died, then left. The strategic cities of Ramadi and Fallujah in western Iraq, where at least a third of U.S. lives were lost in the war, are now under siege and at risk of falling to al-Qaeda extremists. With reports on the ground describing militants carrying the black flag synonymous with al-Qaeda, setting fire to police stations and releasing extremists from jail. The State Department today acknowledged security is deteriorating. We've condemned uh, this violence in the absolute strongest terms. Uh, but let's be clear who's responsible for the violence. It's the terrorists uh, who are behind it. In the last week, the violence came to a head after a prominent Sunni was arrested, leading to claims that the Shiite-led government of Nouri al-Maliki was targeting its political rivals. The Defense Ministry released this video to underscore Baghdad's efforts to push the al-Qaeda-linked militants from the two key cities in Anbar province, which were the focus of the U.S. surge in 2007. While the president cites the end of the Iraq war as one of its main accomplishments, critics say the Obama administration's failure to reach a status of forces agreement with Baghdad laid the groundwork for the bloodshed. I do believe that when future historians look back on the Obama era, they will identify his precipitous flight, his hasty retreat from Iraq, as his number one strategic blunder, foreign policy blunder, and that's saying something. The State Department spokeswoman bristled when repeatedly pushed by Fox News and the Associated Press on the criticism. So it's not like if we just flipped a switch and did X, Y, or Z, the terrorist threat in Iraq would go away. That's just not how, the re that's not how it works. The violence is a regional issue, with the attacks in Iraq being carried out under the same banner as hardline jihadists in neighboring Syria. Some analysts allege a pattern of disengagement by the Obama administration created an opening for the regional al-Qaeda affiliates. The problem is the U.S. didn't move quickly enough in the Syrian rebellion to support the truly moderate opposition. What they did was they allowed basically the extremists and the al-Qaeda types to take over, and they did so over the course of a couple of years. A new U.N. report reinforces the precarious conditions on the ground in Iraq. The assessment found nearly 8,000 civilians were killed last year, the highest death toll in recent memory, Brad. We'll follow. Thank you, Catherine.